This isn't just a rivalry, it's a war for the future of electric vehicles. Tesla changed the world, but now from China comes BYD. Cheaper, faster to scale, and already outselling Tesla in its own backyard. So how did a company most Americans have never driven become Tesla's biggest threat? And what happens when Elon Musk's crown is no longer safe? Fasten your seatbelt. Today, we deliver the answers about which EV brand will dominate the future. Let's start with the scoreboard. Sales, revenue, global reach. Because in this race, numbers talk. In early 2024, BYD was closing in fast. Tesla still held the crown in global EV deliveries, but the gap was shrinking by the quarter. And then, in April 2025, the unthinkable happened. In Europe, BYD outsold Tesla in battery electric vehicle registrations, not by much, 7,231 units to Tesla's 7,165. But symbolically, it was a significant record. Just two years ago, BYD barely had a footprint outside Norway and the Netherlands. Now, it's overtaking the brand that once defined the European EV dream. While some call it a fluke that wouldn't happen again, but they were in for a rude awakening. Because what came next was a bombshell. In 2024, BYD posted $107 billion in revenue, beating Tesla's $97.7 billion. Yes, Tesla still earns more profit per vehicle, its margins are stronger. But dominance isn't just about money, it's about momentum. And right now, Tesla's momentum is sputtering. Sales dropped 13% in Q1 2025. Elon Musk's political baggage is now hurting the brand in Europe and the US. Protests, backlash, customers waiting on refreshed Model Ys that still aren't shipping at scale. Meanwhile, BYD's numbers keep climbing. Even in the face of EU tariffs, Chinese EV registrations in Europe jump 59% year over year, BYD's the top gainer. So, what's next? If Tesla still leads on brand, and BYD now leads on volume, the next battlefield is clear – technology. And Tesla might not be ready. Everyone talks about Tesla's tech, the AI, the batteries, the brutal acceleration. But what if, quietly, BYD matched it? then undercut it. Start with autonomy. Tesla's full self-driving system is a $9,000 add-on. BYD's God Eye, it comes standard on a 30,000 vehicle. And this isn't some knockoff. It's powered by an NVIDIA chip and backed by 12 cameras, 5 radars, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and one litter unit. And the shocking fact is that its total hardware cost is lower than Tesla's FSD, which relies solely on cameras and artificial intelligence. The difference isn't just technical. Tesla bets on vision and code. BYD bets on redundancy and realism. And that bet is paying off. Drivers who've tested both say God's eye feels more confident in traffic, less erratic at intersections, and more aware of its surroundings. Then there's charging. BYD's Blade battery was already a breakthrough in safety and thermal stability, but now they're testing 1 megawatt fast charging. 400 kilometers in 5 minutes, that's nearly aircraft-grade refueling speed. And it's real. Tesla's 4680 project, meanwhile, is still struggling to hit mass production targets. But BYD's edge isn't just in batteries or autonomy, it's in control. It makes its own batteries, its own chips, its own motors. It doesn't just build EVs, it builds the entire ecosystem around them, at scale, with speed. And while Tesla is stuck sparring with European regulators and fighting for permits in Texas, BYD is quietly expanding. Plants in Brazil, Hungary, Turkey, Thailand. So yes, BYD might not have the same brand Mystique or Twitter feed, but it has something far more dangerous – momentum. Because building the car is just step one, the other half of the game is where you sell it. Tesla is a global name, but BYD is quickly becoming a global machine. 
In 2020, BYD just sold over 427,000 vehicles. By 2024, that number had surged tenfold to more than 4.2 million. And while most of that growth came from its home turf, China, it was never just about China. BYD's next frontier is everywhere else. By 2030, the company plans to sell half its vehicle overseas. That's not a stretch goal. It's a roadmap. South America, Africa, Southeast Asia, it's already happening. In South Africa, BYD is tripling its number of dealers. In Europe, it's beating Tesla in major markets like Norway and the Netherlands. And it's doing all this while still being locked out of the US due to tariffs. Meanwhile, Tesla's numbers are telling a very different story. In May 2025, UK sales dropped 45% year over year. In China, Tesla's most critical growth market, sales of the Model 3 and Y fell another 15%. That marks eight straight months of decline, and it shows no signs of stopping, even with heavy discounts and promotions. The company's stock has shed over $380 billion in value since its last peak. Net income in Q1 2025, down 71%. And public opinion? Let's just say Elon isn't helping. His political turn, from tech mogul to cabinet member in the Trump administration, has left Tesla with a fractured customer base. Progressive buyers feel alienated, moderate buyers feel confused, and the backlash is showing up where it hurts most, the order books. But the truth is, Tesla's success or failure is no longer the yardstick for electric vehicles. EV sales in the US are still climbing, just not for Tesla. Volkswagen is now Europe's top EV producer. And globally, BYD outsold every brand, including Tesla in Q1 2025. Even as other automakers scale back their EV plans in response to shifting subsidies and economic uncertainty, they're still moving forward. Ford, Rivian, GM all have new models in the pipeline aimed squarely at the middle of the market without the political baggage. And while Elon pitches AI-powered humanoid robots and autonomy at scale, BYD keeps delivering affordable EVs with real-world range and features at prices that make legacy automakers sweat. So let's break it down. Face-to-face, feature-for-feature. In the entry-level EV segment, think $20,000 to $30,000, BYD holds the crown. Cars like the Dolphin and the Seagull aren't just affordable, they're well-equipped city-ready, and built for scale. Meanwhile, Tesla has largely vacated this space, still focused on premium models with the elusive low-cost Tesla rumored but not yet delivered. In the premium bracket, $40,000 and up, Tesla dominates mindshare. The Model 3, Model Y, and higher trims of the Model S and X are the EV status symbol of the West. Fit, finish, and raw performance still gives Tesla an edge especially in tech-savvy markets that value prestige and cutting-edge design. Autonomy is where both giants are playing different games. Tesla's full self-driving package remains an expensive add-on, impressive when it works, controversial when it doesn't. BYD, meanwhile, is quietly rolling out God's Eye, a standard ADAS suite that combines litter, radar, and vision-based perception in cars half the price of a base Model 3, it's not about full autonomy yet, it's about making safety smart and accessible. On charging, Tesla remains the gold standard in most of the world. Its supercharger network is dense, fast, and seamless. BYD is moving fast though, with a roadmap that includes one megawatt capable ultra-fast chargers and battery chemistries designed for shorter charge times. It's closing the gap quickly, especially in Asia and Europe where infrastructure is evolving fast. Globally, Tesla's footprint is still massive, but BYD is moving in like a tidal wave, tripling its dealership in South Africa, pushing into Brazil, dominating Southeast Asia, and eating up shares across Europe. While Tesla finds itself plateauing in some regions, BYD's rise feels exponential. Brand perception tells the final tale. Tesla still projects innovation, prestige, and tech dominance, but that shine has dulled with political drama and inconsistent execution. 
BYD, on the other hand, leans into pragmatism, reliable, safe, efficient, and affordable. It's not flashy, but it works. And increasingly, that's what people want. This leaves us asking what comes next, because the next phase won't be fought in showrooms. It'll be waged on software, streets, and sentiment. In Tesla's next big swing, RoboTaxis is just around the corner. In Austin, Texas, its new home base, the company is rolling out a fleet of driverless Model Ys. Musk calls it the beginning of the end for human drivers. But on the ground, city officials see something different. Confusion, unpredictability, and safety concerns that no one's ready to answer. Texas, a state that banned local regulation of autonomous vehicles, has become a kind of wild west for AV testing. Police in Austin say Teslas often glitch in chaotic environments. Festivals, hand signals, roadblocks, these machines freeze, ignore or misbehave. Tesla, for its part, is tight-lipped. Musk claims the vehicles are unmodified and simply running a new version of full self-driving. But there's no transparency about the tech stack, the fail-safes, or what happens when something goes wrong. Still, with sales flattening and investor confidence riding on robo-taxis, Tesla is gambling big on autonomy despite a regulatory landscape that's only just now waking up. Meanwhile, BYD is moving quietly, cautiously. But with massive backing, China's central and local governments have poured billions into EV infrastructures, autonomy, and manufacturing. And while Tesla gets hit with tariffs in Europe, BYD gets subsidies at home. It's not just a market edge, it's geopolitical leverage. Then there's the matter of brand image. Musk's growing political entanglements have turned Tesla into a lightning rod, from massive donation to Trump's 2024 campaign to his brief stint running a federal agency, Musk has repeatedly made himself the story. That story took a darker turn after the two men clashed publicly, ending in scandal, deleted accusations, and an online war of words that split Tesla's base down the middle. Even more controversial was a widely debated moment on inauguration night, a gesture some described as a Nazi salute. While interpretations vary, the optics were disastrous. In an age of hyper-visibility and brand scrutiny, Tesla's image has become unpredictable, volatile. BYD, on the other hand, keeps its PR clean. No celebrity CEO, no flame wars, just safe, affordable EVs and quiet expansion. In a polarized world, that kind of neutrality might be the ultimate competitive advantage. Because at this stage, the EV war isn't just about who builds the better battery or who gets to level 5 autonomy first. It's about who the world actually wants to win. So, who wins the race? Would you choose the safety, value, and global scale of BYD or the raw innovation, brand power, and Silicon Valley legacy of Tesla? This isn't just a car war. It's a clash of philosophies, of East versus West, pragmatism versus disruption, quiet dominance versus loud ambition. Drop your pick in the comments, Team Tesla or Team BYD, and smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Before you buy any EV, Watch our previous video about the 1 million mile EV, China's quiet killer in the electric car game. But is it truly built to go the distance? Or is it just the most cost-effective million mile EV on the road today? Check out our video to know the truth and subscribe. You don't want to miss our next videos.